Hello, welcome back to Star Wars The Old Republic. This is Kazoro, and we are going to head to Intracorellian Intelligence through that elevator. Are there any enemies down there? Nope. Okay. Uh, we got to find out where that elevator is actually located. Is it in here? Sure. I don't think so. Yeah. Well, maybe map you can see it better. There's a little path coming off of here. So there should be a little door right there. Oh, look, it's a phase. Alright. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, yeah, this is a long area, if I recall. Pick which direction you want to go through to take all these guys out. This should help. Okay. The bonus looks like just 25 guys in the general area. I think if you take both paths, it makes it a little bit easier to get all 25 guys. Alright, let's wait just a second and then we'll take out that guy. There's my abilities. to get my blade dance off. Alright, we can sneak by a few of these guys. Uh, this group I can't sneak by. There's no silver enemies. Okay, easy enough. Oh yeah, this area is huge. I guess if you're having trouble clicking things fast enough, you can do what I did there. And all those ones that aren't actually attacks, you can just do them one at a time. Between each. Regular attack that you're doing. Droids out. There we go. Big guy. What's this do for me again? Increases critical chance of the burn attacks and causes burn damage to heal the group. For your DPS, critical damage on burn attacks is vital. Alright, Darth Acheron. Another chance, my lord. You'll need us. The Republic's agent. Too powerful. One Jedi against a member of the Dark Council. I'm insulted. You shouldn't be. <laughs> Soldiers are often more trouble than they're worth. You deserve better from your opponents. You'll make good practice for my fight with the Emperor. The Emperor is more powerful than you or I can imagine. The Republic did well to send you here. If activated, the Ion Wall would disable ships, artillery, even the weapon in your hand. But your contact should have told you that the Ion Wall cannot be destroyed through the controls alone. I'm going to use it on the Empire instead. Impossible. And you won't live to try. Don't stop choking me. There we go. And there go 
is Darth Akron. So we can get our ion wall activated. as soon as possible. I must go. The Empire is moving the council to a secure location. No more calm calls. I bet my life on a Republic victory. Don't disappoint me now. Well, it's looking like this episode we're going to be able to uh, finish the main string of Quests for the planet. That's what it's looking like. Knock on wood. Yeah, we'll see. But that's, I think, we're gonna do it. It might be all we do. I think that's where we'll get this episode. Okay, so first things first. Let's get out of here. And then we'll figure out where the legislature is compared to us, and we'll head on in. Alright, it is not far away, actually. It's right up that hill, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm gonna take this little shortcut across that corner there. And I'm trying to remember, but I think there is a lore object that is specific to the Republic meaning the Empire is not able to pick it up. Yeah, it's this one right here. The Empire can see it, but they can't go and pick it up. So I'm gonna take this out really quick. There we go. General. Imps came through a hidden entrance. Lost our CEO, but the cavalry showed up just in time. You've got my thanks. The Ion Wall did plenty of damage. But the Empire's recovering fast. The Corellian Council's shortcuts aren't helping. As long as the Empire has the Council, they have their inside knowledge. We have to find them. Counselor Baylos said they were in a secure location. We've gone over the schematics with Captain Cantaris. He's identified a holdout room intended to keep the Council safe in an emergency. Darth Hadra of the Dark Council was their escort. If they're in the holdout room, she'll be in there with them. Darth Akron was a loose cannon. Is Darth Hadra the same? She's much more subtle. You'll lose your head before she does. You have Republic reinforcements, of course. Captain Tantaris is leading his own assault, but assures me his officers will come and call. Green Jedi has also promised to send who they can spare. The Jedi's limits must always be put to the test. Be a daredevil on your own time. In this battle, I want the odds stacked in the Republic's favor. Our techs have rigged the legislature's comm stations to connect directly to Republic dispatch. Use them to call for backup. Remember, the Corellian Council is the Empire's ace in the hole. Find them before there are any more surprises. Alright. So we gotta find the council. Communicating with the Republic as we clear out the area. you 
should know. Tell me when you're ready to hear them. A huge bonus. fighting ahead. Okay. Let's take out the guys on the left here, because I don't think I can sneak between them. Or possibly alerting both of them. Alright, what this does is brings in the Republic so that all the enemies up until this point, if I've skipped them, they will actually disappear. So if you're going for the bonus, don't click on those comm stations until you've already cleared out what enemies you want to. Because they'll open the door, but then any enemies you've skipped will disappear. It'll act like we've won the entire battle up until that point. See, there's no enemies right there that I skipped. So, just a forewarning. That's what you got coming for you. Like now we are going to secure this area, and I think the legislature is being held in there, and then this is where the final battle takes place. Alright, so we got to get down and across. So let's hop down right here. We can sneak through most of this. Bladesman, he's essentially the same build as I am. Except he doesn't know 
how to use his abilities quite as well because he is just a computer. Flight I'm heading for could use another Jedi. Hatching through to the Green Gardens, uploading your coordinates. So we got the green Jedi there backing us up, and they cleared out all of the enemies in this room. They're all Republic soldiers. So yeah, at this point I'm not sure how possible it is to uh, get the bonus for myself. But I'm not really worried about that right now. If you are, make sure you save some of those. Right, here's the holdout room. I assure you, Dark Emperor, this holdout room is impenetrable. The Republic will never break through. Save your breath, Counselor. Even your little hiding place is not immune from the Ion War. You've turned the legislature into a battlefield. Is this your plan to lure the Council back to the Republic? It's never too late to admit you were wrong. <laughs> Even with half of Corellia in flames, the Council still stands with the Empire. After seeing the damage to the legislature, I was expecting an army. You should have come prepared. The holdout room is designed to protect and hide the council. There are no comm stations here. All transmissions are blocked. Your allies are out of reach. Can you face me without your precious Republic? I'm willing to die for Corellia's freedom. Corellia's made her choice. The Republic just refuses to accept it. They are not the only ones. When I heard you were going after the council, I rounded up Corsac's best. I wouldn't miss this for anything. Then you've chosen your fate. Those who resist Imperial rule will die by my hands. Okay, so she's a lightning user of some kind. Okay, one of those two blade classes. This guy, and then we can use that. And that was easy. Uh, what about the traitor that sold us out? Well, counselors, looks like it's just you and your angry constituency now. Acting Corsac Command can arrest heads of state with the Republic's approval. I want all of them. Counselor Baloth, too. I spied on the Empire. I lied to a Sith Lord. I risked my life to help the Republic. You were the first to suggest we join the Empire, Belos. How many credits were you offered to change your mind? You might want to switch sides while there's still time. Not all of us are as fickle as Counselor Belos. We believe in the Empire. You might win back Corellia. The Empire will win the war. We chose the side that will survive. The Council made themselves kings at Corellia's expense. They all deserve to be punished. Counselor Baylos got us here. He's more than made up for it. I don't know if I'll ever make up for it, but I won't let a chance to try go to waste. Thank you. I appreciate what he did for us, but you just let a traitor go free. General Aves will want a status update. Give us a minute to restore communications in here. Can you hear us, General? Coming through fine, Captain. Without the Corellian Council's advice, the Empire's fallen back on old tactics. They're not working. Once the legislature falls, the Empire will be vulnerable. I've got several squads ready to push them off Corellia. But they'll need a signal. Broadcast comm in the Speaker's Courtyard. Your signal will hit every comm station on Corellia. If you can reach it, just tell me where to go. The Speaker's Courtyard is being protected by Dark Decimus. The last of the Dark Council members sent to Corellia. He convinced the Corellian Council to join the Empire. He won't let Corellia go easy. He won't have any backup here. Corsac's holding the Council. The Green Jedi are defending their enclave, and my men are in position. I didn't come this far to lose Corellia now. Glad to hear it. 
But remember, Darth Decimus is thinking the same thing. Once you've defeated Darth Decimus, contact me on the broadcast comm. I'll be waiting for your signal. This is it. One Sith Lord between us and freedom. Corellia's counting on you. Yeah, I told you this mission was a little bit long. Alright. Oh shoot, they saw me. Okay. I'll take out all of them at once. Oh, look, and I've got my overload saber ready for the next battle. It doesn't last long though, so. Yeah, it's about to wear off right now anyway. Alright, can I sneak around this corner? Used to be able to. Nope. No, it's hazardous materials. Okay. Only seven more forces, so I might be able to salvage a bonus yet. If I choose to, which I don't. Alright, so we gotta get over there to Darth Decimus. Let's just go straight across the courtyard. I see no reason why that could be a bad idea. is easier than trying to go around either side. They have a lot of guards stationed up top. And there you go. Even trying to sneak through, I got the bonus. Alright, Darth Decimus, you're mine. A predictable choice. Only a Jedi to bring the Republic this far. I've watched your progress across Corellia. The Speaker's courtyard has been witness to it all. From this historic stage, I'll declare Corellia an official member of the Empire. Even your efforts cannot sully that. You really think the average Corellian will stand for that? The Corellians told their council to decide what was best. And the Empire evaded. The Council provided coordinates. Coronet City's docks were emptied. Those who resisted were killed. The fleets moved into the shipyards. Imperial troops spread to Capitol Square. Truly a glorious sight. Even Jedi have limits to how much they'll endure. One of your founders abandoned you. How much longer until Coruscant follows? Balmora, Ord Mantell. Soon the entire galaxy will realize your weakness. The Empire needs no weapons to destroy the Republic. Only time. It's been a few thousand years. You must be pretty patient. The Republic is on its knees. I intend to see it fall. <laughs> Start taking out Darth Decimus. He's no different than anybody else we fought here. There we go. And we've got the broadcast communicator. So let's tell everybody we won. Darth Decimus is defeated, General. Tell your men, the legislature is ours. No need to. Broadcast calm just sang it across Corellia. The 
It's up to our reserves to push the Empire out completely. But we're already seeing major retreats. Corellia is free. We're getting ready to declare a formal victory to the Senate. Head for the press room when you're ready. Oh yeah. Okay, so this happened. Uh, it's the same as what happened in all the other places. All the enemies were wiped out. Yeah, we own this area now. That's why that door was sealed, so you're gonna have all these good guys in here celebrating us. And here's the uh, conclusion of the Corellia quest line. Supreme Chancellor Suresh. Senators. The Republic's taken the legislature, and the Empire's on their last legs. It's all clean up from here. The message went out across Corellia, and I'm proud to relay it to you on Coruscant. We will have our victory. We have plenty of help from our allies, but one man stood above the rest. We owe our victory to his efforts. On behalf of the Senate, I'd like to thank you for your service to the Republic. The General tells us you were indispensable. It took more than firepower to free Corellia from the Empire. The Corellian Council's decision to join the Empire must be addressed. Councillor Baylos will answer for them. I know you consider us all traitors. But before the Senate condemns us, I'd like a chance to explain. The Corellian Council doubted the Republic's chances of defeating the Empire. They chose to join them rather than be conquered. Some of my fellow councillors still believe this was the right choice. I believe it brought ruin to Corellia and war to the Republic. A few years in jail might change their minds. My colleagues may never regret their decision. For that, I pity them. I've done what I can to help the Republic win. With the Senate's permission, I'll spend the rest of my term restoring Corellia. Do you expect the Senate to believe that? You gave Corellia to the Empire once. You might do it again. Councillor Baylos risked his life to undo the Council's decision. It's true, Chancellor. If it weren't for Councillor Baylos, we'd still be sitting in the red light sector. You have friends in high places, Councillor. Keep your position, but don't betray their trust. Corellia is one of our founding planets. There was no warning before they turned. How many more worlds might be on the brink? You brought Corellia back to the Republic. You have the Senate's attention. How can we prevent other worlds from joining the Empire? You'll have to deal with this yourself now. Before you go, we'd like to thank you properly. There's no medal or title that equals what you've accomplished. But this should help. First class blood stripes. Corellia's highest honor. Awarded to those who keep fighting despite the odds. Thank you, Captain. I'd be proud to fight with Corsac again. We'd be proud to have you, but I'm hoping our fighting days are nearly over. You freed Corellia from the Empire and set events in motion that may end this war. You deserve more than our thanks. Our victory today sends a message. The Republic may falter, but we will never fall, as long as we keep fighting. Senators, let your voices be heard. Stand and recognize these heroes of the Republic. Alright, well, that will complete this quest, so that's also about the end of our time. Um, next time we'll meet you up around Port Bavaria here, this north-eastern uh, quick travel point, and I'll take care of all these bonus quests up there. Um, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Bye.